Key Largo, Florida, and of course it's raining, but I'm right here on US-1. Now I've heard about this place from just about everybody. They say the food is outrageous. They've got a fish market in the restaurant, but I don't know how they came up with the name. This is the Fish House. Fried crack conk. You take your first bite, you're hooked. Pan saute grouper. So phenomenally fresh. Shrimp bundles. This is my good buddy, <laughs> DJ Ivory. I've heard about it. I had no idea it was this legit. If you're coming to the Keys, you don't know, stop at the fish house. Why'd you bother? But that wasn't the case. When Doug Brew and CJ Berwick bought this place back in 87. You know, it didn't do a lot. Six lunches was a big day. So along with their son, Phil, they spent their days working and their nights in a trailer out back. How did he talk you into this? <laughs> I think it was mutual, really. Really? Yeah. Over the years, they built a big following with a revamped seafood menu. One shrimp and octopus salad, conch chowder. And this fish house original. One yellowtail manicumbi. Served up by Chef Joey Flowers. It's fresh, it's healthy. It's a fantastic dish. Matacumbi. We have an upper matacumbi and lower matacumbi. They're keys down here. All right, get after it. Tell me how it works. All right, fresh chopped tomatoes, chopped onion, capers, fresh basil. And is this the salsa that's going on top of it? Yes. OK. Olive oil. We'll do some uh, fresh lemon, salt and pepper. Mix this up, let this marinate come together. In the fridge, overnight. And how are we going to prepare the fish? Yellowtail. Yellowtail is one of the best down here? Oh, yeah. Local fish, you can catch them anytime. Now we're just going to top it with the matacumbi sauce. Mix in the convection oven about 475. Oh, my gosh. The screaming hot. Six to eight minutes. Matacumbi. Nicely done. That's it. Simple approach. That's it. Mmm. Delicate, tender, taste the fish, a little brininess of that caper, a little kick of the of the onion and the shallot. Nice little uh, tomato basil combo. Mm. That's the exact Florida Keys experience I wanted to have. Really dynamite. A Picasso dish, if you will. Presentation is always beautiful. This stuff comes out of the water about 300 yards over there. They have their own fishermen that fish for them. And while you can reel in a fresh catch at their in-house fish market... We've taken the shrimp home, we've taken the yellowtail home. Most of these beauties head straight for the kitchen. If you love fish, you're gonna love the fish house. When I came down to the Keys, this is the seafood restaurant I wanted to come to. You can't hear the seagulls, you don't see any boats, <laughs> and you got a freeway in the front yard. Right. Yeah, this is probably one of the greatest seafood experiences I've had down here. Thank you.